So when you first open up Blender, it looks very similar to this. I'm looking through my 3D viewport in the general layout. You'll have a cube, a light, and a camera. Then if we go over to our settings, you can see that your render engine is set to Eevee. And if we click on the rendered view, it doesn't look very nice yet. So we're going to change all of this so that right when we open up, it's got exactly what we want. So I'll first start by deleting the default light, and then I'll add a mesh, a ground plane, because in many of my renderings, it's set to be in the real world, like architecture or product renderings. And then right away, I create a vertical split. So I click on the header of my timeline, create a vertical split, place that about here. Then I right click and create another horizontal split and place that here. So I've split my viewports into three different places. This one I keep as my 3D modeling viewport, but I change it over to my render view and change this one to my graph editor for editing my animations. So up in the top, I'm going to select my camera and press zero on the number pad to look through it. Then I'll press N and go over to my toolbar view and select camera to view. Now I'm controlling the location of my camera as I move. If I scroll, for example, you can see that camera moving. And if I hold shift and scroll wheel, I can pan my camera around. Now I'll add some lights so it's more visible. I'll add an area light, move it off to the side and rotate it towards my object, scale it up, and then turn up the power of the light a lot. So over in the light property settings, turn up to like 1000. And I'll select that light and shift D to duplicate and then R to rotate. I'll use this as a fill light so it's much larger and in the background. And you can see how helpful it is to be able to work in any direction, move objects perfectly, but you still see what's happening in your camera viewport. Well then, my camera is still to view. So I've got my lighting set up, I've got my subject, now I just want to make sure my camera is in the perfect place. Select my camera over in the 3D viewport and I'll turn on my composition guides. So you can see this produces dash thirds, golden ratio, lots of options. So now I'll go up into this viewport and really scoot my rendering into the perfect location. Let's say that's what I needed. Now I can on the keyboard and uncheck camera to view. So now I'm leaving the camera in that location. And when I zoom in, but I'm not actually moving the camera, you can see it's staying. Now, one more thing to do is increase the clipping in our scene. So if I press N to pull up the toolbar, view, and turn my clipping way up to 10,000. And then in this view as well, turn up the clipping to 10,000. In one more place, select my camera, clip end, 10,000. Now when we zoom way out, our scene won't clip and disappear. One last step change our render engine from Eevee over to Cycles. GPU Compute. And change our samples to something like 800, 500. I usually test with much lower samples and then my final renderings are much higher. So now we've got our scene set up. I'll go to File, Default, and Save Startup File. And press OK. Now, if I were to reopen Blender, New, General, see that this automatically opened up the same exact scene. All I need to do is change my camera viewport over here, my shading over to render view, and we're completely ready to go. I opened up Blender a few seconds ago. I'll insert some keyframes, move. So now in just a matter of 20 seconds, we've got a rendered animation ready to go. So you can see, building off of that opening screen, I can really quickly create this animated object in only 20 seconds because I saved my default startup file. If you're interested in this and other related topics, be sure to check out the videos on my channel. I upload on a regular basis. See ya!